Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Josephine and on this channel we talk about fragrances. Today's video is about 10 everyday fragrances or colognes for men. So these 10 fragrances are extremely versatile and you can wear them pretty much all year round. I have a mix between designer, niche and even more affordable fragrances so there is a choice for everybody. So if you'd like to know more about these fragrances, then please keep watching. All right, let's begin with the most affordable fragrance from this list today. It is Vibrant Leather by Zara. This perfume is, in my opinion, one of the best Creed Aventus dupes that you will find in terms of price, in terms of how close it is to the actual scent of Aventus by Creed. This perfume is where it's at. So Vibrant Leather smells like Aventus, as I said, <laughs> but it is definitely fresher and lighter, so more refreshing, that's how I would say it. It opens with a lot of bergamot, and actually the bergamot is present throughout the development of the fragrance, and I don't know what it is, but there's the mixture between the ingredients that interact with bergamot to recreate this sort of juicy pineapple fruitiness, that is really interesting because you don't have pineapple in the scent, but it definitely creates that juicy pineapple vibe and it remains, you know, very fresh and pretty much linear throughout the development of the scent. So if you're looking for a really affordable Creed Aventus dupe, definitely check out Vibrant Leather by Zara. It is a really good versatile perfume that you can literally throw on to go out the door, run errands, you can wear this to the office. You can wear this even on the dates. So very, very versatile and a really good cheapie to discover. The second fragrance is, well, what do you know? Bleu de Chanel by Chanel. This is the Eau de Toilette version and is pretty much the definition of a versatile fragrance. This perfume to me smells really classy and put together. It is for sure more of a business type man's scent if that makes sense, that's kind of how I see this perfume, that's what it makes me think of. This fragrance is like your trusty, really crisp, white, clean shirt that you would wear every day to the office if you are wearing a shirt and a suit, for example. So that's what I see Bleu de Chanel as, but not only do you wear this perfume in the office, you can also wear it at any other time during the day. I think it's just a really good fragrance. Now, there's different concentrations of this perfume. You have an eau de toilette, an eau de parfum, a parfum. Personally, I prefer the eau de toilette because it's a little bit more refreshing and you get a bit more of a sparkling effervescence from this fragrance, which I find makes it a little bit more wearable. So I would recommend you go with the eau de toilette. So that was Bleu de Chanel by Chanel. The third fragrance is probably one that you haven't heard much talk about. It is Red Truffle by Joe Loves. So Joe Loves is the new brand from Jo Malone. So back in the day, Jo Malone created the famous brand Jo Malone, which now belongs to Estee Lauder, but she also created her own brand called Jo Loves. And Red Truffle 21 is not a truffle perfume. Contrary to the label, it is a fig-based scent. And let me tell you, it is a gorgeous, masculine fig scent. This fragrance is probably one of the only fig perfumes that you can also wear during the winter, which is why I've included it in like an everyday cologne type of list. So what does this perfume smell like? You do get a fig, but it's an atypical fig fragrance. I get a very distinct, really refreshing, citrusy, cologne-like character from this perfume, which is why I think it's more of a masculine scent versus feminine. And the fig in this fragrance isn't creamy, it's not coconutty, it's just really there in a supporting role. It plays more on the greenness of the fig and a cologne-like character rather than a coconutty type of fig. I really love this perfume. This is a great one if you want to dress up a little bit more. You can definitely wear this throughout the day but also transition really well into the night. And if you haven't checked out Joe Loves already, definitely, definitely do. Red Truffle 21 is by far my favorite from the brand and one that I highly recommend you sample. Number four is one that needs to be included in this list. This list cannot exclude this fragrance. It is Le Mal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And this is the original Eau de Toilette, which by the way, turned 25 this year. So this is huge. 
And this fragrance is iconic. What can I say? This is a timeless, classic fragrance that is super relevant today, that is a stunning perfume. This fragrance is a Fuja Oriental fragrance, so it has that barbershop feel, and actually it's meant to evoke uh, memories of being at the barbershop. So you get some mint, there's also some lavender, so quite classical ingredients, but you get it mixed with some vanilla to add a little bit of sweetness and warmth to the composition, which makes this fragrance very addictive and the sillage is incredible. I personally prefer the sillage over when you first spray it. I think it's really stunning and very masculine. And now we have another niche fragrance. It is Reflection Man by Amouage. My goodness, this perfume is just an incredible, incredible scent. It is a floral perfume for men. Yep, you heard it, a floral fragrance for men but it is extremely masculine. And what I love about this scent is the balance between these exotic, creamy florals with traditional, classic men's ingredients. So you get a lot of, at least to my nose, I get a lot of ylang ylang in this fragrance, so this exotic tropical flower as well as jasmine, which are typically associated with feminine perfumes, but in this fragrance, it's made very masculine because of those traditional masculine notes, which are rosemary, you get also some pink pepper, so a lot of freshness and just beautiful. It really lifts the fragrance, and to me this perfume is really put together, very sophisticated, it smells luxurious, it's elegant, and I just imagine someone being extremely put together, very well dressed, wearing this fragrance. So if you're looking for a unique floral perfume for men that smells very masculine and beautiful, definitely check out Reflection Man by Amouage. And moving on to another Chanel fragrance, pause the video right now, comment down below, and guess what perfume this is, because I've talked about this fragrance so much on this channel. So comment down below if you know what it is. But if you don't, it is the original Allure Homme, the Eau de Toilette by Chanel. And this perfume is another timeless classic and one that I would recommend over any of the other Allure Homme flankers. You heard it right, <laughs> I'm recommending it over the famous Allure Homme Sport Eau Extreme. I find that this perfume is more versatile and hence why it's again in this everyday cologne list. This perfume is also really unique. Not a lot of people smell like this fragrance. So if you want a Chanel perfume that not everyone wears, check out the Allure Homme Eau de Toilette. So what does this fragrance smell like? Well, it's really interesting because you have a duality in this perfume. So you get a really sparkling effervescence with mandarin, with coriander, and you also get a little bit of sweetness with labdanum, which really warms your skin and makes this perfume very, very addictive. This perfume is super casual, it's really effortless, it's quite sexy as well, but it's, you know, not trying too hard. Really, really cash and effortless. That's how I would describe the scent. So that was the Allure Homme, the Eau de Toilette by Chanel. Next up, we have a fragrance that I'm very, very passionate about. It is Gentle Fluidity, the Silver Edition by Maison Francis Curjean. I finally got a bottle of this perfume. It is incredible. This perfume, if you ask me, is a new Creed Aventus, the new Dior Sauvage, the new Bleu de Chanel. This is gonna be it. You heard it from me first. This is going to be it, guys. This perfume is incredible. It doesn't smell like any of these fragrances that I mentioned. It's completely different and original, but it has the same likability factor and versatility that you will find in those fragrances. So this perfume is essentially, in a nutshell, a gin and tonic to ambroxan association. This fragrance is extremely cooling. It's also very likable because of the ambroxan and the way that the ambroxan is done in this fragrance is not in a harsh way at all. It really brings out the bright aspects of ambroxan, the really sexy aspects of ambroxan, the minerality of it, and a little bit of woodiness too. It's stunning. And let me tell you, this perfume will get you a ton of compliments. If that's important to you, you'll be getting it with this fragrance. 
This perfume you can wear to the office, you can wear it during the day, during the night. It's really fantastic. All in all, it's a really good everyday scent for men. And now onto another designer perfume. It is Boss Bottled Intense Eau de Parfum by Hugo Boss. This perfume is perhaps more appropriate for the colder months because there's more spices, it's a little bit sweeter. And what I love about this scent is that it has a really addictive, crisp apple note. I really get a lot of apple in this perfume, but there's also a lot of cinnamon. So you have this apple to cinnamon association, which gives it this autumnal vibe, but you can also wear it winter and springtime. I wouldn't necessarily say summer. I think this is, you know, a little bit much for summer, although it's not something that is necessarily too cloying, but I would definitely recommend autumn, winter and spring with this fragrance. So this perfume is really nice. It's very easy to wear. It's sort of a dumb reach perfume. And I think one that would also work very well on dates because it's a little bit sensual, it's a little bit sweet and it has that addictive fruitiness. So all in all, this is a really addictive, fruity, woody perfume, super easy going for men. So if you're looking for like a casual, sort of everyday wear perfume for the colder months, definitely check out Boss Bottled Intense, the Eau de Parfum version. And so my camera died and I lost the footage of the last two fragrances, only to realize a couple days later. So fast forward a few days, I have two more fragrances to share with you today. The first one is Dolce & Gabbana, the one, the Eau de Parfum by Dolce & Gabbana. This perfume to me is Simply put, if I can say, a sexy beast. This fragrance smells really warm and inviting and it's definitely spicier and more cozy than all the other fragrances I mentioned today. So it smells very spicy as I said, there's some ginger and there's cardamom and for those of you who've been watching my channel, you know what I think about cardamom. Cardamom to me is a really sexy ingredient that will really elevate any fragrance, especially men's fragrances, to a whole other level. And in this perfume as well, I get a beautifully creamy and smooth tobacco note. And for some reason, when I smell tobacco, I get almost like a creamy, sort of coconutty feel, which is very interesting. That's what I get from tobacco scents, and I certainly find a little bit of that in here. If you're a fan of tobacco fragrances and perhaps you're looking for something a little sexier for everyday use, definitely check out the one Eau de Parfum by Dolce & Gabbana. And finally, we have another cult classic. It is Prada L'Homme. This fragrance is your ultimate office scent, but you can totally rock it every day as well. To me, this is a very soapy, clean perfume and the ultimate elegant soapy clean fragrance. This perfume, like all of the other Prada fragrances, has a signature class and elegance. That is what I find Prada perfumes do, but also has that, as I said, the soapy, elegant feel to it. So there's a lot of iris in this perfume. By no way is this perfume feminine. In fact, it is very, very masculine, but the iris is very powdery. It gives that soapy character. So if you're looking for a fresh out of the shower or freshly ironed clothes feeling, then definitely check out Prada Lum. And this concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what is your everyday fragrance. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.